Hello and welcome to this brief tutorial video on how to configure the Wonderwear DA server the DAS MB TCP for data, data acquisition server Modbus TCP. We'll begin by opening up the system management console verify that we uh, do have the appropriate DA server installed uh, we highlight uh, expand it and, and uh, select uh, configuration right click on configuration and add a TCP IP port object you can name it something to make it more descriptive and we highlight that particular port object and right click and select the appropriate uh, Modbus object and in this case I'm going to add a Modbus PLC object this is pretty generic I'm going to name it something descriptive. In the network address, I'm going to put in the uh, IP address of the PLC. In this case, I'm running a simulated PLC, uh, a software called ModSim. And it's located uh, on this particular computer. So I'll just use the uh, local address. The registry size in digits in this case the registry size is five digits long so I'm going to select five then I'm going to move on to the device groups and on this tab and so I'm going to right click in the uh, uh, name area and I'm going to add a topic In this case I'll just simply say topic and I'm going to save it Now, once that has been saved, I'll simply right click and activate the server. Now the server is activated. Now let's add a tag in InTouch. And first we have to configure the access name. Uh, opening up Window Maker, we double click on access names. And I'm going to add an access name. I'm going to call it ModSim the node name I'm gonna leave blank because it's the uh, the DA server is running locally on this particular computer and I'm gonna type in the application name of the DA server which is DAS MB TCP the topic I'm just simply gonna to say topic and leave the protocol at, at the default uh, of sweet link I'm gonna click OK and close now I'm going to add a tag. I'm going to open up the tag name dictionary. I'm going to select new. In this case it's going to be an IO, um, an IO reel. And as far as the tag name, I've taken the liberty of exporting all the tags I expect to see uh, in my PLC. In this case, I'm going to say uh, simulated Blender level, Blender 01 level, max value. And I'm going to copy that. Head back to InTouch. I'm going to paste that inside, paste. And as far as the item reference, head on back to my Excel spreadsheet. And the item reference is 40,005. That's the registry address. Head back to InTouch, and I'm going to put that value here paste and under the access name I'm going to select mod sim select close and here you can also set your minimum and maximum uh, engineering units uh, but in this case for this example I'm just going to leave it as is and I'm going to click save and close now let's put that value on the screen so I'm just going to put a simple value on the screen just a bunch of pound symbols and I'm going to tie that uh, these uh, symbols uh, this particular graphic to a value so I want to display an analog value uh, as far as the formatting it's going to be um, a real and if I double click in the expression uh, box it brings up the tag browser I'm going to select my tag say OK and say OK again and OK to close out the animation ed editor 
and I can go to runtime. It'll bring up the uh, uh, window in runtime. Notice it's set for zero because uh, there's no values coming in. But if I open up my simulated PLC, and let's go to the value here, and I'm going to just put in some arbitrary number, one, two, three, four. I'm going to go back to window viewer and there you have it one two three four and if I open up the systems management console I'll look here under my diagnostic view go to device groups I see my topic and as you can see at address 40,005 the value of one two three and four this concludes the brief demonstration on how to configure the Windowware DA server DAS MB TCP Thank you.